just so you guys know, just so you guys know, um, once you download the Ghost of Tsushima, uh, update, in order to actually be able to enable armor loadouts, you have to go to options and just, you know, cut it on, which I think is, I think that is hilarious, but you have to go to options, go to gameplay, push up two ice on your uh, d-pad or thumbstick or whatever you want to call it and um yeah there you go um once you do that of course you'll go to oh i'm choosing to go to like gear and make sure i actually got it on enable armor loadouts uh assign charms and vanity gear to each armor to create custom loadouts charms and gear can be assigned to multiple armors at once which is always a good thing so i guess we'll go to gear armor options so yeah um uh, you know you'll come here like normal look at your stuff and whatnot um so like i'm a huge fan of the gosaku armor and the ghost armor so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to gosaku and we're gonna press r2 for charms and let's say that i wanted to deal bonus damage at 50 percent health and recover kunai for perfect charm so um You know, once you do that and go to outfits, you'll see that it's right there. So you click the outfit, apply your charm. You can have multiples of charms and then you'll just go from there. So don't worry about, oh, I have the Sakai clan armor and I have, you know, this particular charm on the Kensei armor. It'll be able to be clocked to another armor. I just thought I'd share that for anybody who is as confused as I was. <laughs> oh, man. I'll be streaming the new game plus uh, this weekend as well. For right now, um, I will continue to play around with this until I go to Legends. So, see you guys.